two, one, go! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Final seven seconds of the autonomous period. 20 to 16 at the moment. Score changes quickly, 30 to 24. Red Alliance coming out on top at the end of autonomous. We're in the teleoperated period now. Drivers are in the control. Blue Alliance trying to make up a lost time, but the Red Alliance trying to add as much as they can. Real shoving match now between 1706 and 2539. Krypton Cougars taking on the Ratchet Rockers, trying to keep them out of scoring position. Strike Force gets in and out, having scored multiple pieces of cargo for the Red Alliance. Deep inside blue territory, your Red Alliance defender is the Krypton Cougars. They move back to the red side of the field, taking on each and every one of the Red Alliance robots that are in its range. Blue Alliance robots that are in its range. One minute remaining. Unofficially, your score 70 to 60. Ten-point advantage goes to the Red Alliance, but here comes Blue. They're charging hard, led by 1706. Powerful defender, but also an incredible shooter. Robot has a twin intake, reducing its cycling times. Foul now. This one will be on the Red Alliance. A match this close. Those foul points can make a big difference. 78-74. Red Alliance... Four-point advantage. Shooting long-range killer bees able to connect. They do it once more with another piece of cargo before making their way to the hangar. Blue Alliance getting hung up. They're in the middle of a climb. Lost their grip. Then lost their ability to climb any farther. Red Alliance, however, completes the match with two Traversal Climbers. We'll have your results for you in a moment. And here they are. Your winner is the Red Alliance. Very close match play, but it all came down to the hangar and the ability of the robots to climb. Blue Alliance only scoring 10 hanger points, Red Alliance with 30. That says it all. Coming up next, qualifying match number 56.